Hi, it's Monday, March 21st, and I'm Mark Friedman, just an American citizen. Another beautiful day in our great country. No notes, no sense, and please subscribe. Today's going to be a fun video because not only is the music great, but the subject is great. We're going to have Judge Katanji, not Judge, Justice Katanji Brown Jackson. It looks like she's going to be conferred. We're going to talk about her. I'm so excited. But before we begin, let's talk about our music. Paul Revere and the Raiders. Now, look, this isn't, oh, I didn't do this right. I got to do this quickly to get it back up for you. This is Paul Revere and the Raiders. Some great music from the 60s. Here it is. But these are the boys. Look at them smiling. Hey, yeah, we're young. We're happy. We're young. About 66, 65, 60, that general area. Some excellent, excellent music. They were the house band for where the action is. And I remember getting Hit Parader magazine. This is all before the 67 uh, Summer of Love, Monterey. I remember I got Hit Parader magazine. And Mark, Mark Lindsay, the lead, the lead singer, had a ponytail. Who else had a ponytail? They were dressed like uh, Revolutionary War guys with a lot of hair. And he had a ponytail. And they gave away his ponytail at Hit Parader magazine. I also remember, maybe I'm just old and I'm crazy, but I also remember they had a... a, a I think a big cover that time where they were talking about the British invasion. So I think they put in the Beatles. They had names there. The Beatles, Dave Clark Five, the Rolling Stones, Herman's Hermits, the Animals. Who, every name possible. And then I think going back, they had Americans. They're talking about the American response. They had the Beach Boys. I think they had the Birds, Buffalo Springfield. And they had Paul Revere and the Raiders. That's Paul and that's Mark right there. Okay, their music, they were a singles group. Like I said, the house band for Where the Action is, a weekly TV show where all the new bands came out, but they had some really, really good music. And listen to the greatest. It's going to give you some of the names. Stepping out their first really great one. Just Like Me Kicks was an anti-drug song, though. Sometimes I wondered if I Had a Dream was a little bit to the other side. Hungry, another really excellent song. Good Things, Ups and Downs, Him or Me, What's It Gonna Be? And it goes, and they started kind of working their way down, peace of mind, very druggy, I suppose. But really fun music, good strong bass, three and a half minutes of music, and you just crank it, crank it. This is the kind of music that soothes the savage soul. Okay, let's talk about today. This is some really good stuff. We have a judge, first black woman nominee to be a, a U.S. Supreme Court judge. Katanji Brown-Jackson. Now, I sit here and I watch tonight and I listen and I think, number one, how great is it to be able to be, live in a country where you can have people with different views, growing up differently, looking at things differently, but being like incredibly smart and incredibly experienced. I mean, this woman's a judge. This woman was a lawyer who represented the worst of the worst in criminal cases. They're order about it. That's what, that's what lawyers do. You got the jerk squad in the Senate. You got a guy like Holly. You got the Cancun crews. They're just the way they talk about her. What are you talking about? First, they talk about they don't like how she sentenced child pornography kids. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, offenders. Well, the numbers, according to fact checkers, are she's right in the average, pretty much the average of everybody else. They want her LSAT scores. Well, they don't even look at SATs for college anymore. Think about that. But they want her LSAT scores. Let's see Trump's uh, school records that he refused under threat of lawsuit to let out there. So she's got experience. She is a really good judge. She's incredibly smart. She's replacing Justice Breyer, who she clerked for. Her, her, her credentials, Harvard, everything are as good or better than anybody on that Supreme Court, and she is a real lawyer who not just did appeal work, but did real work for real people and grew up as a real person. Oh, we are lucky. We should be psyched. I'm psyched. Waiting to hear it. Justice Katanji Brown Jackson. Sounds good to me, and that's the way it is.